Like any fuel conversion for any barbecue, the post-2010 Genesis 330 needs orifices, gas regulator, and hose replacements to change fuel use. Access orifices by removing the burner bolts and slide burners away from valves. Burners can be partially dislodged without disconnecting the ignition. We can remove the original orifices through the front firewall. The 330 model has three burners and a sear burner. Use sealant on orifice threads and be sure which orifice installs to which valve because the sizes are different. Remove the original gas orifice. Install the new orifice in the tip of the valve and allow the pipe dope to do the work rather than damage the soft metals by over-tightening. Reinstall burners after adjusting carburetor sleeves, but leave the shutter slightly loose for any minor adjustments after ignition. The side burner range is a simple orifice swap because this orifice is right below the burner, accessible from above the chassis. This 330 model will use LP, so we'll run the extended gas line out the back wall and attach the propane scale outside the right wall. Our propane cylinder is safely mounted below the right shelf. With new orifices, new propane regulator, and safe tank connection, check for leaks in ignition. After a fuel conversion, always adjust air shutters and ensure there are no leaks around gas line connections, valves, and burners. For assistance, contact Majestic Grill Parts.